Oh, gods. Those are human teeth. Oh, it looks fresh. It looks like they didn't make it to the block. No way to get this alight. I wonder if I could use it for something else. Jayla! Please. Shut it! Please come here! I wonder what she's done. <clears throat> uh, hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey! No talking! Jayla! Jayla, come over here! Oh, don't you start again! Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it! Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want, then? Well, tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgement to the father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. But we have to keep our heads held high. Even when everything else is taken from us. Ha! I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. Huh. Good to see you too, Mera. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. And if you also find your way back into Marjorie's graces, well... It would be a shame to waste such influence. And then I realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. 
Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed mirror. Kingdoms too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. My family would never allow it. If you go anywhere near Forrester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. Until I cut your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Doubtless you'd try, given half the chance. But you won't be. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which was why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I need to see him. Is he in there? There's a reason I wanted to talk to you. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. You'll see. He's in so much pain.
I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> Me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Behind. Ah! To help Sylvie. Got her. Oh, I can't bear it anymore. Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. This wasn't supposed to happen. I always thought he'd be here, fighting by my side. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. I can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. I'll do it. For the North Brook. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use a dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. <laughs> heart quickly while his blood still pulses through it Ugh. now bring it here squeeze the blood into the fire while it's still warm Dawn. 
Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body. The wine is ready. Your sister will pour. When they're all seated, you give the signal. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn! Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester, my apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asher. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. Things are different now. I'm different now. But you have nothing to worry about. You were always a terrible liar. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive. No hidden agenda. Just peace, once and for all. I'm sorry, but I don't trust your father. He ordered the ambush. It just as soon slit my throat as see us wed. That was before. My father would never betray my trust. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. And at this point, it's in the hands of the gods. Sorry to intrude, my lord. But Lady Forrester is in need of your help. Of course. I should go. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord, it's all that came to mind. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the poison. Consider it done, my lord. Ah. Elisa, I'm sorry it's come to this. But at least it's done. Where's my son? 
Right to it then. We've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher. Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You, welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker, Forrester. Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye. And get me something to drink. I'm bloody parched. Talia, how will you fetch the wine for his lordship? We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. Our hall is yours, Lord Whitehill. Make yourself comfortable. Of course it's my bloody hall. But you're too ready to give it over. Your false smiles don't fool me, Forrester. Calm down, Father. Asher's just showing you the respect you deserve. So, Lord Forrester. You made your way as a soul sword out there, did you? Hey, a little rape, a little murder. Anything for the right price. <sighs> and your family must be so proud. And all those bed slaves a soul sword must enjoy across a narrow sea. Ah, oh, I can't imagine how my sister will be able to please you. And you set back on a horse when we last drew swords. Your family will sing about that for years. You've quite the mouth on you, Forrester. How'd you like me to shove my sword down it? Eh, not so much. Enough bloody nattering. Sit the hell down, Griffin. Let's drink. A toast. We should make a toast. Ah. What shall we toast to? Come on then, let's hear it. Don't make me sit here waiting to drink. To Ethan and Roderick, who were the best of us. And to Ryan, who is now home where he belongs. To my brothers. To your, to your brothers, brothers. Then. No, no, no. This isn't right. You first, then me. In the way of the North. Come, Forrester. Let's drink together as lords of our houses. Let me. Let it be you and I who seal this bond. For our houses. For our children. Fucking foresters! I knew you weren't to be trusted! They tried to poison him! Asha, how could you? I showed mercy! I gave you my daughter!
Goodbye, Asha. Oh! 